this google pixel 6 pro is not charging and we are going to see how we can solve the problem so the phone is from another technician and uh, he tried to fix the problem but what we notice is that there is a short in the v -burst. you can see that by just connecting the, the charger as you can see what i did right here if you see you will see that when i connect the charger you will see that my uh, supply right here will just go off and start blinking right so it's very clear that that was short in the VBus line and yeah the VBus save it and I don't know but we will open then see how everything goes so I disconnected the screen as you can see you already opened everything so I'm just going to unscroll this while you are watching you can also check my other videos in my profile if if you are watching this on tiktok you can check if you are watching this on youtube go to my home page i have a lot of videos that will help help you at the end of this video if in case yeah you are interested after watching this and also if you want to learn android repairing starting from the basics to the professional level of troubleshooting all kinds of faults and understanding every secure then you can uh, send me a message on whatsapp using the number on the screen or check the link in my bio if you are watching this on tiktok or check the link in the video description or pin comment if in case you are watching this on youtube so as you can see we are dismantling the phone because we have to remove the motherboard and the, the thing one thing is that we don't have schematic diagram for this mobile phone we don't have the schematic diagram yet so we have just the bin mapping and the bin mapping doesn't have uh, any labels on it <coughs> so you can only understand that even in case you are, you are familiar with bin mapping and pcbs in which yeah you will see how we can do to know the vbus because for me the trouble should this fault in this phone i just need to know the vbus as you can see they already worked on the the circuit but it doesn't seem like they changed the charging uh, port but the charging port is not the problem in this case you can see the pcb so from here i could clearly see the vbus line we also have a diode which is a vbus diode okay so as you can see the phone is charging right now but i'm going to show you what i did at the end of this video i'm going to show you what exactly i did it was very easy for me to solve this problem and you are going to learn that as you can see the phone is actually charging right and as you can see right here i have to remove the shield from the power manager section in which i'm going to explain uh, yeah at the end of the video i'm going to explain why so let's just uh, mount back the phone just doing this so that you will see how you can yeah mount uh, this mantle and mount uh, the phone in case you come across the same model okay so that's just how we do we scroll everything that's the camera so uh, the nice hardware okay so that's how we do just put on everything scroll everything put everything together so let's put in the battery we connect that the battery you don't have to connect it we connect the screen first and test see if everything is okay as you can see it's switched on which means that the phone is actually charging as you can clearly see right there okay so now what did we do you can see you can actually see the charging current so what did we do for the phone to charge okay so here is the trick so the phone had a shot as uh, if you remember well i said that right so all i did was take the usb cable connect it to my dc power supply then increase the DC power supply voltage to 5.3 and increase the current to 5.1 because I want to force the shorting component in the mobile phone to heat up so I actually did and the component was heating up so you can see I just connected the USB it was heating up so I had to find where exactly it's heating up in the mobile PCB and before I could succeed in finding the section the, the DC power supply will killed the shot for me so <laughs> so after I getting a lot of heat from the PCB meanwhile I was finding exactly where the heat is coming from when I checked the power section as you can see I already removed it it was like it was coming from that section so when I open it use my shots powder to, to spray and when I connect the charger there was no heat anymore which shows that it was not it was normally maybe a, a capacitor or a diode 
I will, that was causing the shot so the high amount of current that I that I sent into the phone and the high amount of voltage caused the component to completely break you understand and that was it so if in case you want to learn mobile repairing don't forget to send me a message on whatsapp you can as well purchase my course directly from my youtube store using the link on my bio or the link in the video description okay so that was it don't forget to check my other videos if it's your first time coming across my videos so thank you and see you soon